Hello, in today's video I'm going to go over the Grade Center in Blackboard. You're going to start by logging into Blackboard and selecting your course from the course list. Once inside your course, you're going to select Grade Center on your control panel and click on Full Grade Center. When you look at this page, you'll notice it looks very much like an Excel spreadsheet. Your students' names and everything associated with that student makes up one row, and the assignment names are the columns. If you cannot see one of your assignments, simply scroll over, and you'll notice that there are a lot of columns. If you look at this toolbar, you'll notice a variety of options. First, you have Create Column, which is where you create a new Grade Center column. Next to it, you have Create Calculated Column. Create calculated column is where you'd make an average column, your weighted totals, and I'll save that for another video. Next to that you have your manage options. Manage is where you'd sort of work on organizations, categorizing, anything to do with the physical grade center itself. And to the right of it you have reports. If you hover over reports you'll notice that there's an option to create a report which is a sum of the grades of the course, or you can sort of get statistics for whatever your needs are. Or click View Grade History, which will let you see every grade you've changed and the past versions of it. Now we're going to create a column. To create a new column in Blackboard, we're going to go and click on this Create Column button. This is a page where you create your column. It looks very much like the page where you'd set up an assignment. The first thing you're going to do is name your column. And then below it, you'll notice a spot for grade center name. You can leave this blank. Below that, you have a box for description. Once again, this is generally left blank as well. Now when you scroll down, you'll notice the option for primary display. Your primary display by default is a score, meaning that every student's grade should be entered in a point system if this option is left as it is. So if an assignment is worth 10 points and the score option is selected, you would grade your students 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10, etc. If you click on the word score, a drop down menu will appear and you'll see a few other options for grading your students. Another popular version is percentage. So if a student's assignment here is worth 10 points, you would grade them by giving them 100, 90, or 80 because it's going by percentage. Below that, they have the letter option, which is your standard A, B, C, D. And the one below that is your complete or incomplete, meaning it's complete if they did it, which is the equivalent of 100, or incomplete if they did not complete the assignment. I'm going to move it back to scores since that is the default and in my opinion the easiest to work with. Below it you'll notice a option for secondary display. Secondary display is another form of grade display that will appear alongside the primary display. However, only the instructors can see the secondary display. Oftentimes, the secondary display is set to letter so the students can see their number score and the professor can see the number score alongside a letter grade. Below that, you'll see an option for category. If you look at the category, you'll notice it's set to no category. You can choose a category for the assignment, and categorizing is generally used for making weighted grades easier. Once again, this is not necessary. And below that, you have your points possible. I'm going to make this column out of 100. I recommend you do that also. It's a very easy number to work with and it keeps you from making very simple calculation mistakes later on. Below that you have a space to add a rubric. So if this wasn't for participation but rather a written assignment that wasn't created on Blackboard, you can add the rubric here and your students can take a look to see how they did or why they got their grade. Scrolling down you can give the assignment here a due date. I'm using the word assignment and column interchangeably because a lot of these options are shared and generally these columns are meant to mirror an assignment that was created on Blackboard. Now the last section titled options is where you control the sort of visibility of the column. 
The first one is include this column in grade center calculations. Basically, if you want this to count, you keep that under yes. The second option is show this column to students. If you want your students to see it, you click yes. If you want to hide it from them, you change this to no. And lastly, show statistics. So if this is switched on to yes, your students will be able to see the average and the median grades of the column. So when a student would look in their grade center, and if this is checked as yes, they will see their own grade alongside the average and the median. When you're done with your column, you're going to click Submit. And you'll be brought back to your Grade Center. Every time a new column is created in Blackboard, it moves it to the very far right of the spreadsheet. To see it, click on the scroll bar and move it all the way to the right, and you'll notice my new participation column. If you look at the far right, you'll see that our participation column has appeared. To enter a grade, simply click on these two dashed lines. And after clicking on those lines, you'll notice a text box appeared. Simply enter the grade in that text box and click enter on your keyboard. Now you'll see that the student's score is a 90 and their letter grade is an A-. minus. Only the instructor can see the letter. To delete a column, simply click on this gray arrow and look at the very bottom of the list and you'll click on delete. Then this pop-up will appear and it'll show you that once you do this it cannot be undone. I'm going to click OK and you'll notice the column is now gone. To change a grade you'd simply click on the letter and when the text box appears give the student a new grade. To change the order of the assignments on your page, you would go to Manage, click on Column Organization, and simply click on any one of these gray four-way arrows and click and drag to reorder your columns. Now I'm going to click Submit to get back to our Grade Center, and our Grade Center has now been reorganized. Now we have gone over all the basics in Grade Center. There will be other videos to explain how to grade assignments, how to grade discussion boards, and how to do your weighted column. These subjects are getting their own videos because they're a little more in depth and I believe that this video would be way too long if we kept them around. Now thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed our video.